hello dear students today we are going to uh, discuss uh, a system of two thin lenses in terms of matrix method so uh, let us consider that you have uh, two lenses um, like this okay and they are let it be that the focal length of the first lens is f1 second lens is f2 and this is the principal axis and they are separated by a distance t okay now suppose that uh, now we are uh, we need to find a system matrix for this uh, for this optical system okay now these two lenses are forming an optical system so we need to find out the system matrix for this okay for the combination of these two lenses so you know that suppose that this is an object a ray of light is coming out of it okay so uh, when it enters the lens first of all it uh, suffers uh, refraction then it will be sorry uh, i want to say like that so it will pass through the first system lens and then it will go through translation and then it will pass to the second lens and then you are going to have the image okay so uh, if you want to represent this in terms of matrix how we are going to do see um, the system matrix for a thin lens is represented like this isn't it one and then one and this is one by f1 so whatever changes has happened inside the uh, lens uh, of focal length f1 is represented by this system matrix okay so this is a system matrix one okay s1 similarly whatever has happened inside this lens is totally represented by a system matrix S2. So you know the system matrix for an uh, thin lens is given by 1 and 1. This is 0 and this is 1 by F2. This is a focal length inverse of the focal length. Okay. And what happened in the middle? In the middle whatever happened is called translation. Okay. Now you know that what is a translation matrix? Translation matrix is 1, 1. This is 0 and this is distance by refractive index. So, what is the distance? Distance is T and refractive index is 1 because we are talking about air. Okay. The, the, the medium between the lenses is nothing but air. So, refractive index is 1. So, this is the so translation uh, matrix. Translation matrix is given by this. Okay. So, suppose that here the uh, ray of light is having a coordinate lambda 1 x1 and suppose that here the ray of light is having a, a coordinate lambda 2 x2 okay so this is the initial this is the final this is the initial state of the light okay and this is the final state okay so how do we write like that so initial is lambda 1 x1 okay first what happens sorry at first it goes to the lens s1 so it is uh, sorry uh, first lens so uh, whatever happens inside the first lens is represented by this you see then what happens translation okay uh, let me draw the diagram again then it will be much more easier for to uh, relate it see this one and this one and this one okay so at this position you have lambda 1 x1 and at this position the ray of light is like that and then this okay here you have lambda 2 x2 all right and this is translation so first first thing that happens is this so lambda 1 x1 second thing that happens is this so it is represented by what s1 okay third thing that happens is this so t and the last thing that happens is this so it is represented by s2 so then it, it gives rise to the final thing that happens is this so it is lambda 2 x2 i hope you have understood how we have done it okay now let me write it more clearly in a in a in a neat and clean way so s2 is nothing but 1 minus 1 by f 2 0 1 then t means 1 0 t 1 
and s2 means 1 minus 1 by f1 0 1 and the last one is lambda 1 x1 all right so we need to do matrix multiplication of all this okay so i'm not going to show all the steps one by one so if you solve this what you are going to get is 1 minus t by f2 okay this is going to be t okay then 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 okay minus t by f1 f2 and then we have 1 minus t by f1 so the whole thing is like this so and at last you have lambda 1 x1 okay so overall system matrix is this one okay so the overall system matrix is given by 1 minus t by f2 this is t this is 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 minus t by f1 f2 1 minus t by f1 and this is the average or overall system matrix for the uh, for the thin lens sorry uh, the system of two lenses okay this is for the system of two lenses understood so i hope you remember this term uh, this matrix for exam purpose also so all of you know that a standard system matrix is written like this all right so minus a is equal to this thing so i can write a is equal to 1 by f1 1 by f2 minus t by f1 f2 similarly b is equal to 1 minus 1 by, uh, t by f2 so b is equal to 1 minus t by f2 next c is equal to 1 minus t by f1 c equal to 1 minus t by f1 and minus d is equal to t so d will be equal to minus t okay so this is the these are the parameters for a system of two lenses okay separated by a distance okay so these are the this is this represents the system of two lenses so that's all so uh, for uh, 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 th that's all uh, the uh, the uh, overall about the things that we uh, do about a system of uh, two lenses separated by distance in terms of matrix method okay so uh, the most important thing is that you need to derive this system matrix this system matrix correctly and then you need to point out these parameters correctly a b c and d that's all the job is done okay so if you have any doubts free feel uh, feel free to uh, uh, ask questions through whatsapp uh, through uh, g uh, emails as well as uh, through google classroom chat thank you